Good morning, everyone. So this is one of the famous interview questions, what we generally get in terms of web services. Okay, consider this as our request for application. A request application, also called as downstream application. And this has like provider's application, also called upstream application. At provider level, we are having some database table holding all the work object ID information with some kind of image also. So, you know, complete work object information will be stored somewhere in the blog. Okay. And maybe between requester and service providers, if data is to be transmitted by a single property or a page or a page list, it doesn't matter at all. It can be easily handled. Now, if the requester is looking for some kind of binary images, Okay, if requester is looking for any kind of multimedia, it might be an image or an audio file or a video file, okay, or any kind of multimedia. So how this is to be transmitted between requester and provider? So this is like very famous interview question, which is like being asked in every interview. So how to do this? So most of the protocols, whatever we are using, or many communication things. So like HTTP or SOAP or JSON, whatever it is, this cannot handle raw binary directly. So we're having all the data in some binary mode, right? So these protocols available today in the market cannot handle raw binary. S still, you are supposed to send this kind of multimedia, which is stored in binary at provider level. So for that, we have to go for base 64 conversion. Okay, between requester and provider, there must be something like base 64 conversion. How to encode this to base 64 and maybe requester level, how to decode the same base 64. This is what you have to understand. So base 64, which can convert binary data in some string format. So which can be easily transmitted to the requester and later it can again be decoded back to the original mode. So this is all about like base 64. So this is an easy way to input binary data like images or audio or any file into a plain text. And this text also will be of 64 different different characters which includes letters or maybe some kind of numbers and maybe some slash and other symbols, which is similar to our ASCII code. So maybe in our C language or somewhere we used to learn ASCII codes, right? Same way, this base 64 can convert binary data into something text format, okay? And, and all the protocols, whatever we are using today, so this is purely text-based systems where it can transmit text only. And base 64 is something which is converting binary into text mode and the same will be sent here. Now, how this base 64 to be used at provider's level and how the same to be decoded at the requester level. For that, we are having some functions, maybe some utilities. And at provider level, whatever the activity we are using, there we can write one Java step. We can write a Java method. And for that, you can write this as the Java code directly. So, here, here, for any single work object ID, there will be an image mapped. And by default, every image will be mapped to an OOTP property called PY attach screen. Okay, so this is a Java object. So here, this particular OOTP property, if I can pass it here. And in your project, if you are using the property as it is, you can pass the same. Maybe by the time if it is mapped to another property, it can be mapped here. And if you are using this as the direct Java step inside an activity. So this particular base 64 related code, if you send it to the requester, then they can handle it. Now, requester side, what they have to do is they have to write they have to use a function called at the rate string dot decode base 64. Okay, if they're directly using this, then automatically, there is nothing but this, then automatically it will be converted back to its virtual mode. So you should know base 64, how it is to be used at provider's level and how it is to be a requester level. So this is part of encoding 
and this is part of decoding. You can use this as one way and even another way is also to use a same function, encode base 64. And here it is like decode base 64. So using this, you can able to transmit any kind of multimedia between requester and provider. Okay, and what general challenges we face here is, and if the protocol, whatever you are using in between these two, if it is so, so cannot handle more than 2 MB any time. It cannot be handling heavy payloads any time. Okay, so this is one limitation if you are trying to go for so. And maybe if it is rest, that is fine. And one more challenge what we have to, or one more thing what we have to take care between these base code conversions is like, you should never log any message which includes base64 data. Okay, consider if requester is requesting for something, maybe if provider could not handle that. So at provider level, there will be a message to be locked. So in that scenario, don't go for any kind of base64 text included in the log, which will be creating big mess. Okay, it is not at all encouraged to log base64 related message at logs. It might be a requester or even it is a provider. Okay, so this is where we are supposed to transmit multimedia between requesters and providers. This is very famous interview question. And you people can learn from here. Thank you.